All right, so this is the positive battery cable, and you can see it's freaking yammed. I hooked it up anyways. I just stole the battery out of my Jeep. So I took this jumper cable and jumped it from this terminal to the other battery terminal for the second battery. So that way it's kind of bypassing that. And then this black one, this wire right here was busted off. So I just used the black side of the jumper cables to jump to that solenoid. So I turned the light switches on like for the park lights and all that stuff and had, oh, we got park lights. Sweet. All right, well, that's good. Let's see if anything else is on in this thing. No headlights. Oh, we got interior lights. Now we're getting somewhere. I don't have a key switch yet, but I'm gonna go see if I can get one today. Oh, that's rad. So stuff is, uh, there are gonna be some stuff that might work. I really get a, I gotta get a key switch. Well, that's good news. Amazingly enough, stuff is gonna start working. Well, that light works. So is this one. So we got battery power. I put a new, uh, key switch in it, so let's see what happens. Well, I got a little oil pressure light. Amp meter works. I don't know what these switches do, so I don't know. Blower motor works. That's impressive. Yeah, okay. Oh, well, blower motor works. I don't know what all this stuff does, so let's turn everything on, I guess, and see if anything else lights up. Oh, yeah. Well, something happens. I think I'll have to pull the starter out. it to work all right we're getting somewhere all right so i went and got some test leads and uh i was gonna bypass some stuff see if i can get some more lights working uh, i reached up here and pushed the starter switch it actually spun over a little bit so uh the motor is not locked up um it, it kind of gives me some hope and it makes weird noise over here again so the first time I hit the starter button, I could have swore this thing rolled over. And I was like, no way. And uh, I hit it and it won't roll over after that. But I put a bar on it. What do you know? This thing rolls. Well, it did a little bit a second ago, but it did move. We'll see. Okay, so I replaced that cab wire or the cab power wire. Put that battery in there on the other first terminals. I got the uh, battery charger hooked up. Now don't fake make fun of my battery because I know it ain't got enough juice to kick this over, but if it cranks it over a little bit, I'm gonna go get the other truck. I might steal the batteries out of my big truck, we'll see. I'm just more curious if it rolls over than anything. Oh, she did. Okay, we just need more amps. I'm gonna get a bigger battery and see what happens. All right, battery charger on. Two batteries. I just did a temporary terminal on the end of that one that was all broken off. And, uh, it's uh, about to thunderstorm here, so let's see what happens before that happens. Oh, 
Well, it doesn't sound super good, but it spins over. Now I gotta get some fuel to it and see what happens. So I pulled the line off, fuel filter, pulled the fuel filter off. Oh, it's plugged. That's nasty. So now I'm gonna put a piece of three quarter inch hose, just stab it on that uh, inlet to the fuel filter housing. I got a new fuel filter, so new fuel filter, and then I'll run that in a five gallon tank. Let's see if, how that works. All right, so here's what I did. Uh, I put a new fuel filter on it. I pre-filled it. I ran some three-quarter inch uh, heater hose into my gas can there. And then, uh, let's see what happens. All right, so now I have five gallons of fuel and a new filter and... Like schoolgirl giddy that this uh, this thing runs. I couldn't believe it started. It hasn't been ran since 1987.